Good day. My name is Chris Field. I'm one of two co-chairs of Working Group 2 of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is a remarkable partnership between the world's governments and the scientific community. It's designed to provide definitive assessments of what we know and what we don't know about climate change science. In Working Group 2, we focus on climate change impacts, adaptation, and vulnerability, looking both at climate changes that have already occurred and risks of climate changes moving forward. Every IPCC report is a really remarkable achievement. It reflects in many ways the distillation of the work of the entire scientific community. Uh, the real workhorses of the effort are the hundreds of lead authors who work over several years to read all of the literature relevant to climate change impacts, adaptation, and vulnerability for regions and sectors around the world, and, and distill that into a series of key findings that are relevant to policy but not prescriptive of particular policies. In the most recent version of the Working Group 2 contribution to the IPCC, authors dealt with 30 chapters that range from how to make decisions under uncertainty, uh, to the impacts on particular sectors, things like food security or economic impacts. And they also looked at a wide range of regions, including especially important for you, a uh, chapter on, on Smile Island Nations. You'll have a chance to hear a lot about the contents of the report and the findings of the report. I want to emphasize just one element. A new feature of the framing of the Working Group 2 contribution to the IPCC is the recognition that the challenge of dealing with a changing climate is really a challenge in managing and reducing risks. When you look around society, you see lots of sophisticated tools that are already widely deployed for risk management. So the challenge of managing climate change isn't fundamentally different. It adds new dimensions, it adds new complications to existing problems, functioning very much like a threat multiplier. But the fact that climate change is a threat multiplier means that many of the tools, uh, many of the strategies that we already have in place and have experience with can be deployed to effectively manage climate change if our ambition matches the magnitude of the task. My feeling is that the Working Group 2 contribution to the most recent IPCC report provides a very solid foundation for understanding the issue and for understanding the elements that need to go into providing the solutions that can build robust economies and vibrant communities. Thanks very much and I wish you the very best with your workshop today.